Hey guys, it's Brugas here and today I want to talk about one topic very interesting because right now kingdoms are opening. You can basically go and join in, in any kingdom. You just click here and you select one of these all these kingdoms. For example, this one, or maybe you want to join this one. It doesn't actually matter. You can basically go wherever you like. So my question is, or the question I actually see a uh, what people talk about is um, should you actually chase to join in the top alliances? And I think this is very interesting topic uh, to, uh, to talk about in general in the Cow Dragon community, the top alliances, because back in the days where there was a server against server, you know, we get put it in one division, like 10 servers or something like this. Uh, most of the people was i mean the top alliances was gathering people from the existing active servers there and we was getting a point where i think the top alliance was uh was like 17 billion power right now with the open migration boy oh boy <laughs> there is a kingdoms like 23 or maybe over 23 billion power which is crazy which is crazy and this happened with just this migrational update but I think it's absolutely fine. I mean, more and more players are going to play with uh, their with the lands they like, or maybe with the friends in real life friends or whatever kind of friends they have there. Uh, but yeah, if you're a normal dude, for example, like me, and you just decide, okay, I I'm not happy right now in with the AC because currently I'm in AC. I'm not happy with AC. I want to be great somewhere somewhere else and I open the tab and I check the the kingdoms here and okay I want to go here with Chidi. <laughs> so how the things will go for you this is my personal opinion and how I see the things first of all depending how much power you have this is maybe one of the main factors if you're somebody with 40 or 50 billion power, most likely on the first place, you're not going to be accepted in the alliances like uh, Neuer. Just for example, because I think there on average is like 100 billion uh, million power. This is on average how much the players there have. And if you're like 40 million power, most likely you're not going to be accepted. But and, and this is the first thing. There is, is going to be a threshold that uh, I don't know if the word is correct. Threshold. There, there is is a level where uh, you just have to cover this power just from the beginning. I think most of the people already have the cues or alliance helps or all these strange requirements that the alliances request to join them. But yeah. So let's say you're at like 77 um, billion, a million power, like me, a dude, normal dude like me, you want to go somewhere. First, what is the benefits? Let's start with the benefits. And I think the benefits is not that much. Let's be honest. If I want to join Neuer, which is on average is 100 million or some other alliance that on average is 80 okay if it's 80 million most likely they're going to accept me just because i'm close to the average player there's going to be players with 200 million there's going to be players with 50 million for example but anyway this is not the point in the top alliances most likely people are looking to join just from the benefits on the first place if you're not person who have close friends there or some in real uh, friends there or w whatever kind of friends you have uh, there most likely this is going to be one reason but if you're a normal dude that who just open the tab and search for some alliance to join most likely you're going to watch to join the top alliances just because there is better rewards there most likely people are expecting go chest and let's talk about the go chest well i think at this point of the game there is not that many people who is looking to open the tier 5 this is the first thing and yeah more maybe on the events like wheel of destiny or forge of light if the artifacts are very good or uh, higher heights or strongest world or something like this maybe in this case we may see some go chests, but I think people most likely is going to just get the daily chests 
and there is just not that many people who is spending every day 100 bucks to buy a gold chest <laughs> at least this is my personal opinion and i see uh and from what i see because i was in the two very big strong alliances that have a lot of wells most likely the gold chest is going to come when there is an event where you just need little more spending let's say like or where there is a very good deal uh the other thing is uh okay we talk about the gold chest the other thing is rewards well in every kingdom home kingdom where you join most likely you're going to get most of the behemoths every active kingdom so since those behemoths even get stacks uh let me see maybe this one have these stacks for example this hydro have like these five stacks which is behemoth damage taken is a 50 percent so it's going to be easy to actually take out all the behemoths even the elite one get the frames with most likely with any alliance so what is the other benefit winning the kingdom versus kingdom right i mean if the behemoths you can get with any um with any alliance and the gold chest is is something that come on specific event most likely winning the king uh, kingdom was a kingdom because dragon reward is way better from the magma reward and the no magma reward basically magma reward and no magma reward there is no difference there the only thing that's different i mean in the pet skill because most of the people are going to look for pet skill not for extra three heads for example or three golden heads so the thing is the go uh, the dragon reward well <laughs> in right now in cow dragon matchup uh which developed a lot over the months basically we're close to over one year in couple months in cow dragons right now kingdom vs kingdom is very strong kingdoms are put it together with very strong kingdoms i mean on the top top kingdom vs kingdom is tfs neuer ace and bxs this is very very strong kingdoms uh, i think maybe one of the best kingdoms in the game uh, uh maybe one of the strongest kingdoms in the game we uh ac are put it with bdo with nova avengers and with echo which is close to our power this is again i, I think this is the second on power division in cow dragons i mean kingdom versus kingdom so if you join one of the top alliances you're going to fight against top players it's not going to have easy win like back in the days was happening putting together like 10 servers and one server is very strong or maybe two and whoever win the competition between these two big kingdoms or big servers actually win the rewards no right now you have to fight against other kingdoms with same power like you so the benefit of getting the dragon reward is not sure i mean <laughs> it's not sure that you're going to take the benefits other thing fighting against other kingdoms if you join in the top lands uh, you're going to fight against other kingdoms and if you don't have that many uh power for example if you're 77 billion million power like me and uh, the average there is 100 most likely they're going to watch me way more from for example somebody who have like 200 million i mean this is just uh most of the times just the the weakest <laughs> the weakest uh players are overwatch uh, let's say it like this and maybe there is uh, exceptions for the people with 200 million power just because they have 200 million power or something like this i mean this is absolutely normal i mean for example if uh, the person who is with 200 million is not that active maybe there is a hopes that in the next kingdom he's going to be more active but anyway this is this is different topic but in general the expectation from you is going to be very high and uh, the rewards the reward is going to be the same <laughs> if you're in the small kingdom um and if you're in the top kingdom, the reward is going to be the dragon. And if you're in small kingdom, or let's say not that powerful kingdom, you're going to be matched with not that powerful kingdoms. So the thing that joining the top alliances guarantee winning the kingdom as a kingdom is, is no longer relevant, in my opinion, because you're going to face the same power bad boys 
<laughs> in kingdom versus kingdom so yeah in general with this matchmaking system where the top alliances are put together with other top alliances uh if you don't have that many power maybe i think it's a good idea just to stay in kingdom where how to say it i mean the people are around your power maybe your power to be something like average or if you're a little below the average or a little above the average but if i'm 77 million power and the average is 100 million this is huge gap this is like 23 million gap and this is this 23 million gap most likely is just troops it's just troops because I, i'm i finish all the buildings because so i don't i cannot grow building power i'm close to finish all the researches here which i think i have like 1 million extra or 1 million ten half in uh, in research so i can boost maybe to 7 7 seven eight seven nine something like this but rest of this power is just troops artifacts and whatever so <laughs> yeah just wanted to mention that the benefits of uh, i think my personal opinion benefits of joining the top alliances is no longer there because most likely you're going to fight against other top alliances and the reward is going to be the same if you're looking from point of rewards if you have friends there if you have in real friends there or whatever friends there this is different topic this is absolutely different topic or if you play with this alliance the first two season of seasons and after this for two or three season you get separated by because of anything uh and you want to unite together again this is a different topic if you're just a dude who are not like lacking liking the alliance that he is in and just open and checking out where to join i think uh you should join in i think my personal opinion is the best alliance is going to be some alliance that on you're around the average of uh, the power or a little above the average so yeah i just wanted to mention that because yeah top alliances are a huge topic right now in cow of dragons especially in the community of Cow of Dragons. People are thinking, yo, Top Alliance is going to bully the small alliance. No, the Top Alliance uh, are going to be matched with Top Alliance. So the, the, the part with bully in the war game, which is very strange, is no longer, I think, exist. So yeah, I guess this will be for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you do, hit one like, subscribe, and see you in the next video.